some confusion in the lower house today, underpinned by this somewhat awkward moment. All in favor say aye. All in favor say aye. This had to do with the proving Mr. Wendell Lucas to the office of Deputy Police Commissioner. Now, there was the belief that his parliamentary approval after being nominated by the Police Service Commission was inevitable, given that it needed a simple majority which government commands. But when it was time for the eyes to approve Lucas, government somewhat shocked the opposition. Mrs. Robinson Regis? No. Dr. Rowley? No. Now, Lucas was one of three people debated today to fill the substantive roles of Deputy Commissioners of Police, the second highest rank in the TTPS. And Lucas was the only one not to be approved. Lucas is right now the Acting Assistant Commissioner of Police. And the National Security Minister read his resume, which includes a strong legal background. Madam Speaker, a very illustrious resume, and with these, I commend this uh, notification to the House and I beg to move. But why was he not approved despite the illustrious resume? Leader of government business Camille robinson Regis did not tell us after questions were sent to her. Meanwhile, opposition MP Dr. Rudal Munilal described it as an insult to Lucas and said they too, on the opposite side, have no idea why government did not support him. But during debate, Dr. Munilal said when the opposition was conducting its research into Lucas, something stood out that could amount to a conflict of interest. Is it correct that Mr. Lucas, as an attorney at law, at any time sought to represent persons while still being a police officer? Dr. Munilal said that raises questions over his suitability and a complete fitness for the position. If it is that Mr. Lucas, as an attorney at law, and a, uh, a member of the Toronto Tobago Police Service at any time sought to represent persons who were at least accused, if not arrested, of serious criminal conduct. Dr. Munilal said they heard this possibly happened on two occasions. Akash Samaru, CNC3 News.